We are going to have an orgasm that you can't even comprehend. Genesis. Hi, I'm Sarah Campbell Foster. And I'm Martin Bissaker, welcoming you to Genesis TV. Genesis TV is a revolutionary new media service run by the media students of all levels from Farnborough Tech to you, the rest of the students, in the refectory. The, for the last three months, they've been working their pants off behind the scenes trying to get things organised to bring to you what is hoped to be informative, educational and, most of all, entertaining viewing. Why Genesis? Well, the word actually means the birth or beginning, and the word seemed to suit the idea. In today's programmes, we're going to feature an interesting attitude spot, an hilarious spoof comedy based loosely on the protectors, and... Shoestring? Shoestring, yeah. <laughs> also blind date. But uh, join us after the news headlines when we have our attitude spot, and today's subject is <laughs> homosexuality. But now it's over to Joe Tannycliffe with today's news. Today's lunchtime news, the latest on Bruce Grobelar scandal. Will he ever return to his Southampton training centre? British teenagers face death in fashionable nightclubs as ecstasy epidemic spreads. Also, why Britain's schools may be falling down. And in the FCT news, the constant frustration that wrecks the suspension of students' cars in the pothole college car park. Plus, the hottest sports stories of the day and the coldest weather update. Please join me, Joe Tunnicliffe, at 1 o'clock for the latest national and FCT news. Welcome back. Here with us in the studio is Libby Gibbs, Kerry Payton and Mark Robbins who have actually been involved in making videos about homosexuality. Now Libby, you made that one, didn't you? Yeah. What actually possessed you to make it? Um, we were given a 90 second piece to do and um, I was quite intrigued about the fact that if a woman's with a man then they automatically presume that they're a couple, yeah. which isn't true half the time. So. I thought we'd play around with it and have a twist because I like to push people's buttons and get a reaction. Get a reaction. Certainly do, so. That's good because um, Mark was your actor in that. Yeah. Um, 
How did you feel about doing that, Mark? Um, yeah. I didn't mind. She's my friend. She sort of shoved me into doing it, so yeah, we have a good time. Obviously, he was a friend, wasn't he? Um, yeah, we weren't hanging out with each other or anything. So you just sort of had to grin and bear it and get on with it. Yeah, yeah. it's all fake. Gosh, and Carrie, you've actually made also a video, mm -hmm. but you're yeah. from a, a heterosexual point of view um, about what it's what it's like mm -hmm. to be, um, you know, gay, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to be seeing Carrie's clip later on. Kerry, did you find that having made a film about homosexuality, mm -hmm. you, were, you were stereotyped as a lesbian yourself? Yeah, quite a lot, yeah. A lot of people seem to be unsure, you know, but, you know, I don't mind. You know, I know I'm not gay, so that's all that matters, mm -hmm. really. That's it. So, um, when did you first sort of... It's funny, this, to use the word coming out, when, yeah. when was it actually? When did you actually sort of come out into the public? Um, I didn't. Really, mm. I um never. I mean, you don't come out. Well, just coming up, but you don't. Cause yeah. I haven't heard anything from anybody. And, you know, people say you come out, and like, like isn't you know people find out That's or they you know, you know I don't care. If people ask me, then I'll tell them. Yeah. If they don't, then I just don't bother. Do you find the what the reaction like at college, or do a lot of people not really know? I don't they, know. They really? Just, yeah. You don't have a bad. There's no bad attitude. No, I mean, people, I know people talk about me behind my back and stuff, but, um, yeah, I don't care about that. I don't accept who I am, and... I've lived in areas where there's been big, big gay communities. What's it like living in this area for a gay community? It's really boring. <laughs> there's nothing to do. Is there, is there actually a gay scene anywhere around here? No, the nearest place is Guildford, really. Guildford or Reading. And then you've got going to London, have it all bright. What sort of reactions did you get from the video that you made? Um, well, it was from Music from you six bitch to that was really good. Yeah. Yeah. There was some um, nasty reactions, but it was really long too. I enjoyed it, because as we've seen, it was black and white, wasn't yeah. it? Did you want to put it in black and white to get that sort of emphasis, dramatic sort of... Yeah, it was just feeling the video. Yeah. Just put it in black and white because it looked better. Oh. Did, did you enjoy that scene where you're actually sort of moving up the body and giving him a nice big snog? Um, no, I was uh, laughing all the way through. I did it about three times, and um, I've only ever seen it about twice because I don't like to watch it. But it's, yeah. it's different when you uh, watch yourself doing it. Did, did your kiss make an impact with him? Are you now going out or anything? Um, no, but we're just like, we've been friends for quite a few years, and yeah. it wasn't really any big deal. Oh. I'm not sure that I could have done it. <laughs> well, there was a whole bundle of fishermen in front of us as well. It made it a little bit harder. It shouldn't really matter if they're gay or not, though. I mean, if an actor should kiss another actor. That's right. It doesn't yeah, it right, have yeah. nothing to do with it at all. So. Yeah, Mark, Mark, you're not actually from Farnborough, are you? Mm -hmm. um, you're from Dorset, I take. Um, how do you feel? Is, is it better in Dorset than it is in Farnborough for the sort of the gay scene and such? Um, well, there isn't really one in Dorset. Oh no, you, have you moved to um, Epsom. Epsom now, um, and, and what's it like over there? Is the college there similar to, to Farnborough Tech? Um, it's quite similar, but I mean, there's no similar to the in or anything mm. anyway. Um, London's only 20 minutes away, and they're trying to... Mm. Libby, Libby didn't yeah. find it very hard to come out and sort of let people know that she was lesbian. Did you find it difficult yourself? Did you um, have any problems? Well, no, I think everyone just assumed. <laughs> when I got to college, it happened like one or two people. What, what about your parents? Um, they don't actually know. Oh. Would they be upset or...? Um, I doubt it, I just haven't got around to tell them. So you, mm. you don't want us to send any tapes of this program? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd rather tell them myself. Oh, because it's not national. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Now, uh, Kerry, how mm -hmm. did you feel when you made your video? What, what, what actually possessed you to make it? Um, just that people in Farmer don't seem to be very aware. Um, you know, the problems that gay people have. Um, that was it, really. Yeah, and, and did you in who did you actually interview for the video? Um, Libby and Libby's girlfriend, Sarah. Right. Well, we're actually going to see a clip of that in a very short moment of time. Here's um, Attitude from Kerry Payton. It doesn't really bother me. That's them, really. Don't check. Personally, it doesn't apply to me. I don't, I'm not against it. I'm not for it, but... Uh, I personally think, you know, your own view is, is entirely up to you. And I think it should be lowered to 16 like everyone else. Please. I don't think it should have been lowered to 18. I think it should be still be 21. Why is that? Because I think, because I don't like Hayes. Why not? Because I, oh, 
which is better for a child to grow up in a home where there is a loving, faithful, homosexual relationship, surely that's better than, than growing up in a home where there's domestic violence and, and you know, that one or both parents are totally promiscuous. I, gonna get it all from uh -oh. <laughs> She got there, the cupboard was bare. So she went to the student village refectory instead. <laughs> <laughs> 